We often look at places that once had one name but now have completely different names and of course a great example of this would be of the capital of China which was once called Peking but is now called Beijing in the English language. It's not hard to see that these are quite clearly two completely different names. Now this might sound crazy but what if I told you that despite the city famously going through a name change it actually never changed its name. Crazy right? Well hear me out. To start with let's look at that original name of Peking. What does this name actually mean? In Hanzi the name of the Chinese Chinese writing system. This is spelt like this, which breaks into the two Chinese words meaning North and Capital, meaning this original name of Peking means North Capital. Despite being the only capital in China now, it was the Northern Capital when China was split into various dynasties, with the city of Nanking's name meaning South Capital. However, if we look at the city's modern name of Beijing, you may notice a similarity. The names of Peking and Beijing in Hanzi are spelt exactly the same, and once again the name Beijing breaks up into the two Chinese words for North and Capital. So I'm sure you can understand a bit more now when I say that despite the city changing its name, it also didn't. How on earth can this etymological oxymoron be the case? The Peking to Beijing name change isn't a name change like we usually look at. This wasn't an outright change of names, but rather a changing of pronunciation. Each character of any given language more or less always has a set sound it represents, or at least a vaguely similar sound. Even here in the English language, every character doesn't make the exact sound all the time. Look at our letter of O. You can hear it make different sounds depending on what word it's being used in. It can be a short sound like we hear in dog, a long sound like we're in old, or a reduced sound like we hear in above. This video actually has nothing to do with the O sound in the English language, but it's just a great example of how a single character of a language can produce so many different sounds. And in the grand scheme of writing systems, English is pretty simple. And of course, with English being the lingua franca that it is, it means words of languages from around the world that don't use the Latin alphabet like we have in English have to be transliterated into English, which means we don't only need to figure out how to write words in English that are derived from non-Latin alphabet, but also how to pronounce them. And in Chinese, multiple ways of transliterating Hanzi to English have been formed, leading to various Chinese words being able to be spelled and pronounced differently in English. The transliteration method that gave us Peking in the English-speaking world is called the Chinese Postal Map Romanization Method, which was based heavily on the Wade-Girl system of transliteration, with this system being founded by Sir Thomas Francis Wade and Herbert Allen Giles. Their system of transliteration easily allowed the characters of Chinese to be transferred into English. English, with the name of the northern capital becoming Peking thanks to this system. And while it was this name that took off in the English speaking world, the northern capital was and has never been called Peking in its home nation of China. If you called Beijing Peking to a Chinese person, there's a high chance they'll have no idea you are talking about their capital city. In Chinese, this city's name has always been pronounced as Beijing. However, the city's name remained Peking in much of Europe, all the way up until 1979, when the Chinese government of the time grew tired of outsiders referring to their capital city as what they saw to be the wrong name. They insisted that instead of using the Wade Girl system of transliterating the name, they used the Pinyin transliteration method, which more accurately translates Chinese names into English and maintains the original Chinese pronunciation. And in Pinyin, Peking became Beijing, which is now the name for the city used in the English speaking world. However, the name Peking can still be found. Beijing Airport's location identifier still references the name Peking. And of course, Peking can still be seen in Chinese cuisine, like we see with Peking Duck. While this city is firmly established as Beijing now in the English speaking world, the name Peking can still be found in other nations across the globe, with languages like French, German, Spanish, Russian and Japanese, to name a few, still using names that reflect the capital's past as Peking. But for us in the English language, while it might seem like the city changed its name, it actually never did. It was just the pronunciation that changed. Beijing was suggested by Kevin Iger and thanks to their suggestion, they will now be honoured as the name explains Peking patron saint of Beijing. Do you have a good idea for somewhere that's name could be covered in a name explained video? If so, then please consider donating on Patreon. Just $1 a month helps keep the channel running and earns you a weekly chance to suggest somewhere to be turned into a video and you too could be a name explained Patreon saint. Thank you to all my patrons who support Name Explain on a monthly basis. Name Explain depends on small monthly donations from fans like you to help keep the channel running. Just a small amount of $2 a month helps out in a huge way, grants you patron exclusive Name Explain extras, and gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you.